Hey filmmaker Shongdi here. In this video, I'm releasing a pin cushion transition. So that was it. A pin cushion transition. It looks like a fish eye, but the opposite of it. So it curves the other way around compared to a fish eye. I'm now going to show you how to apply the pin cushion transition. First go between your clips, then hold down shift and twice arrow and cut it. This makes a cut of 10 frames and do it also on the other clip. Hold down shift and arrow twice and then command K. Now drag in pin cushion out for the first clip and pin cushion in for the second one. And now we can see the effect. The effect is like a pin cushion. So it's the opposite of a fish eye. So you could actually also call it a fish eye, but I call it a pin cushion transition. And then you notice there's also a RGB pin cushion version because like with cheap fish eye lenses, you actually get like a chromatic aberration, which is like an RGB split. So let's show you how to apply that. Basically also the same cutting those two clips. So just remove the previous pin cushion effect. So we're now going to apply the RGB pin cushion. First hold down alt to copy the clips on the layers above. Copy it twice. So you'd have like three layers on top of each other. And now behind each clip, there's uh, talk about in and out the in of course is the second clip and out is on the first clip and then you have like top middle and bottom so remember the BOT is bottom and middle of course middle and top is top so we're going to use the out first for the first clip so top middle and bottom You can now see there's this chromatic aberration or the RGB split happening, which adds a little bit more to that fish eye or pin cushion effect. Now apply it also on the second clip with the in. So top, middle, and bottom. So now you can see the effect with the RGB split, making it more obvious of a, like a fish eye effect with like the chromatic aberration. And if you find the effects being too fast, you can go into effects control and change the keyframes and drag them further to be longer or move them close to each other to be faster. If you want to download this preset, go to the link in the description below. You will land on this page. The most important section is this Unlock Premiere Pro Download Here section. If you already subscribed or follow me on Twitter, please press one of the other buttons. Tweet out this page or share it on Facebook. So let other people know about my presets. Once you have pressed one of these buttons, this section will disappear and a download link will appear. If you really like and appreciate what I do, there's also a donate button here below once you have downloaded the file unzip it go to your effects tab go to your preset bin right mouse click on it and choose import preset and import the preset file once you have done that the file will be in Shungda's presets then in the bin of transitions and in the sub bin of CD pin cushion transitions and there you can find the presets to use so that was the pin cushion transition preset and I hope you guys really like it and give me a thumbs up. If you want to see more upcoming videos, please subscribe. There's also a lot of other tutorials and presets on this channel, so check them out. And if you have any questions, please comment below and I'll see you the next time. Bye bye.